Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to your April Reflections May Intentions video. Um, so we're going to see if April showers really do bring May flowers on this rainy, rainy April afternoon. So um, we have five planets in retrograde right now. Um, energy is moving, Beltane is right around the corner. So I wanted to take a look back and see what happened for us in April, um, any challenges, main energy, just to reflect and look back on the month um, that we're just coming out of. And then I'm going to take a look at the May intentions. So what could be happening, um, intention setting for the month of May, um, the energy from the month of May, and how to bridge that gap. So how to get from um, April Reflections to our May Intention. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have a couple cards for each. The first card I have um, is the Five of Cups. I'm using the Lumina Tarot. I absolutely love this deck. And I love that the Five of Cups has a raven on it. The raven is so special to me. Now the Five of Cups for April Reflections, to me it means it was really spent tying up loose ends and realizing, you know, are we going around in a circle over and over again, repeating the same cycles, making the same mistakes, um, you know, or is it time to tie up those loose ends and move on and move forward and leave those things behind? I think it's so um, incredible as well that this particular card came up since we're at the start of retrograde season. And the Five of Cups is about walking away from things that don't serve you, but realizing that just because you're walking away, it doesn't mean that you haven't gained anything from the experience. It doesn't mean that you're not taking knowledge with you. And it certainly doesn't mean that you're not taking, you know, emotions with you. Yes, you may leave a traumatic or hurtful situation, which is a good thing, but that doesn't mean that you're still not going to be sad. You still may have some things that you need to work through with it. So also for April Reflections, I have this beautiful card um, from the Nature's Whispers Oracle, Make a Decision. Make a decision. So I really think that ties back into this Five of Cups, making the decision. Are you staying? Are you leaving? Um, did you tie up everything that you needed to? Are you just going round and round in a circle? Do you want to move forward? Do you want to move backward to the left, to the right? And really just looking at our options. I think this month of April, um, we have come to the realization that we cannot stay where we are, um, whether that be a job that we're in, whether that be a business endeavor we're working on, whether that be a relationship, whether that be, you know, where you live, your house, whatever it is, we have realized that we need to make a decision to continue on the path that we've been going down or to turn left, right, upside down, continue to go round and round in a circle, the choice is yours. But we have been, it has been brought to our attention that a decision needs to be made in some aspect or area of our lives. The next card I have for our April Reflections is trust your own understanding. So I really think this comes into play with, in April, we may have, you know, as we go on about our lives, Somebody may say this is the way it is or you should do things this way or that way. You know, even me, I can offer you all the advice in the world, but take what you need and leave the rest. Trust your own understanding, you know, as you're making this decision. Maybe not look so much to the influence of others, but trust your own understanding of the situation. Like, let's say I'm having relationship problems and, you know, what my... You know, I talk about it with my best friend, I talk about it with my mother, I talk about it with like, you know, I don't know, my significant other's friend, and they all give me different things on what I should do, decisions I should make, which path I should go down, but I have to trust my own understanding of the situation because I am the only one that's in it. Now, at the same time, from the outside looking in, a lot of times others can see some things that we may miss, but I really think it's important from the month of April that based on our experiences, we have to trust our own understanding and experience of the situation. You know, maybe to stop going round and round and round and finally make a decision. Okay, trust your own understanding of the situation. Now, for our April, excuse me, for our May intentions, 
I have a couple cards. So firstly, I have the moon, and I feel like the moon has been coming up an awful, awful, awful lot for us lately here on my channel. Um, so for our main intentions, this means to me that we need to be aware of illusions, delusions, and our psychic ability. So I think, you know, to set the intention this month of May to work on and enhance your psychic ability and using your psychic insights and intuition into the situation, but realize that maybe, you know, all hasn't been revealed. Maybe we're not seeing everything completely clear yet. Um, and to see through the illusion and the delusion, you know, are we in denial about something, you know, or are we truly seeing it clearly? I think um, doing some meditation maybe around the time of the full moon in May. Um, I don't know the date of that right off the top of my head. Um, or in, even with the new moon coming up, maybe that would be some great, great thing, some intention setting for the month of May to cut away with illusion, to cut away illusion and delusion on whatever situation this is that we're going through. The next card I have here is the Wheel of Fortune, which I love this card. This is like one of my favorite cards ever, my favorite depictions of the Wheel of Fortune ever. And to me, this means that, you know, once we get clear on the illusion and the delusion, that, you know, some good luck, some change in luck will come our way. You know, some things will change, some things will happen. Fortune will be bestowed upon us. I also feel like this month, is going to be related around bigger themes. Um, and whenever I see the Wheel of Fortune, I always think, oh gosh, their name escapes me. Now this is so bad. Um, but the Greek um, goddesses, the three, the weavers of fate, you know, again, from our April reflections, the, the string, the cloth, and the weaving of fate. And again, with the moon here. So I feel like the moon, new moon, full moon will be very, very important for whatever it is we're trying to accomplish in this month of May that's coming to us. Um, I also feel like this is speaking of balance um, between our intuition, between the moon, and between the sun, because the month of May relates to Beltane, that fire, the f welcoming the fire back to the earth. So the festival of fire. So I would just really be clear on, you know, where your intentions are, your intention setting, you know, and you may have some extra luck this month with that this month of May. So just be very aware of that. Um, I also have clear endeavor. So whatever endeavor it is, if this is a relationship, if this is a business, I think we're going to have some good luck coming in here with this Wheel of Fortune. And the pathway um, towards what we want will be clear. We'll have some luck on this journey. Now, that's not to say we won't have to cut through the illusions and the delusions, okay? Um, I also think this really validates um, the reading I did for our theme for May 2016, and the cards I received were Clarity and Inner Child. So clear endeavor, get clear on what it is you want. Do you want to stay in the same situation from the month of April? Do you want to keep going round and round? Um, April, we did have some really great things happen. We did make moves. We did make changes. But I feel like there's that one situation where we're just keep playing the same scenario, the same record, the same track over and over and over again. So set the intention for the month of May to clear the endeavor. Ask Lord Ganesha to clear the obstacles from your path for whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. Because like I said, I think we'll have an extra boost of luck um, behind us in this month of May 2016. But in order to do that, we need to take a leap of faith. We need to take a leap of faith and trust that the universe has our back. Um, trust that we're following in the right direction. Trust our own understanding. When you trust your own understanding, you are given that extra confidence. You are given that boost to trust and take the leap of faith. Take the leap of faith, lovely ones. Okay, and once we do, I love this. This is a beautiful way um, to conclude with our May intentions is infinite blessings. Infinite blessings. You know, make your wish 
this month. Again, the Wheel of Fortune is here to support you. Um, pay attention to the moon phases. Really get clear on what it is you're manifesting, what your intentions are, um, because I really have the feeling that whatever you know we are trying to manifest or create, um, once we've gained our own understanding and are following our understanding and decide to break the cycle or to really, you know, take the lessons and what we've learned to leave the rest and move on, that infinite blessings will come to us. Okay. Now I also drew a card for the bridge to get there from, you know, fate and the circle and going round and round and having to make a decision to making the decision, obstacles being cleared from our path, cutting through illusion and delusion and really having luck and infinite blessings on our side. And the bridge from one, our April Reflections to our May Intentions, is the Knight of Wands. Taking action. Be the freaking rock star that you are. <laughs> Seriously. Um, be spontaneous a little bit. Have some wild abandon in you. Um, don't be afraid to... to to break out of the shadows and show your true colors and be free. Allow yourself to f feel that freedom. Get off of the wheel. Get off of the wheel, people. Get off the wheel. Take a stand. Take an action. Do something different. Come out bigger, bolder, and badder than before. I think this is saying to put our fears to the wayside, you know, and once we do that, We'll be able to cut through the illusion and delusion. Our luck will increase. The universe will be on our side because you can't bring new, better things to you until you let go of the old, nasty things and walk away from them. But make sure you take the lessons with you and just keep moving onwards and upwards and, you know, infinite blessings will be waiting for you. But that is our um, April Reflections and May um, yes, April Reflections and May Intentions um, for 2016. I'm Arielle and this has been Maven Unmasked. I hope you really love this video. Um, if you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel or check me out on my blog, on Facebook, Instagram, and I'm now on Twitter, guys. Oh my god, still trying to figure that out. <laughs> um, so yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me. Have a great one, lovelies. Have a beautiful end of April, a beautiful Beltane, fiery, warm, and a a lovely, lovely May. So, um, take care. <laughs> Bye.